Next, we're going to take a look at a word problem given a graph of a quadratic relationship. So we're going to use the graph below to answer questions about the flight path of a football that gets tossed. Okay, so let's call this A, B, and C. Okay, so in question A, we want to know how high the ball is when it's first kicked. Well, how high the ball is when it's first kicked is always its initial height, okay? So its initial height is the same as the y-intercept. So we're trying to figure out what's the y-intercept of this particular football. Well, the y-intercept happens right at this location, okay? And so based on uh, this particular graph, we can estimate the approximate height, okay? So... Uh, I'm going to estimate it to be about one meter off the ground. So it says height in meters right here. So that's our height in meters. Uh, and so I'm going to estimate that at that blue dot here at the y-intercept, this spot, okay, that it's approximately one meter off the ground. Okay. So how high is it when, uh, when it's first kicked? Approximately one meter off the ground. So when you're not given any equation, you can you, know, you try and... Uh, guesstimate it as best as possible. Part B here says, what is the maximum height of the football? Well, the maximum height of the football always happens at the vertex, okay? So the vertex, in this case, this is where we're going to find our max height. Okay? And so the vertex of this particular um, flight path for the football is approximately, let's see, we got, if I draw a line through here, okay, uh, I've got about 19, 18 uh, meters horizontally, and my height is about, about 30 meters. Okay, so I'm going to say that my vertex is about 1830, okay? And so because this is my vertex, this is my, my highest point of the flight path of the football, uh, I can say that the highest maximum height of the football occurs at the vertex. And again, 30, that's going to be the K value of the vertex, okay? And the K value is always the maximum or the minimum uh, height of a, of a parabola, and in this case it happens to be a maximum because it's a downward-facing parabola. Okay? In a similar way, I can use my found vertex here to answer question C. Okay? Question C says, how far along the ground did the ball travel before it reached its maximum height? I know it reaches its maximum height here at 30 meters, uh, and based on our uh, estimation of the vertex from this, uh, from this particular graph, we can tell that it moved approximately 18, okay? In other words, the h coordinate. So it moved approximately 18 meters to the right of where it was originally kicked, okay? The final question that we're going to take a look at, okay, is how far along, or sorry, not the final question, but the next question we're going to look at is how far along the ground does the ball travel before it reaches 15 meters in height, okay? So, in this instance, if we want to figure out how far it's traveled before it's hit 15 meters in height, this actually happens in more than one spot. Okay, if we look at our height, here's our 15 meter mark. Well, let's go back and try that again. Here is our 15 meter mark. Okay, if we draw a horizontal line through our graph, we notice that the ball has traveled 15 meters or reaches a height of 15 meters in two spots. It reaches it right here, and it also reaches it right here. So the horizontal distance, okay, here is about, I don't know, we'll call that five meters. We have to estimate because we don't have a particularly accurate uh, scale that we can see here. Uh, and here we'll call this maybe 32. Okay, so it actually achieves 15 meters in height uh, in two different spots along this parabola, at 5 meters from the kicker and also at 
32 meters from the kicker. So this would actually be our zeros, okay? So you achieve this height at both, stop doing that, at both five meters and 32 meters, okay? The last question, we'll call this question E, okay, is to estimate the quadratic relation that this graph represents, okay? And so if we're going to estimate the quadratic relation, remember our quadratic formula is always written in the form, well, we're going to write this in vertex form, y is equal to a times x minus h squared plus k. Okay. So based on this graph that we have and some of the information that we've been able to pull from it, we have to try and estimate our AHK values. So in this instance, uh, we know that we're not entirely sure of what the A value is. We're going to say that we've tried to determine that our H value is approximately 18. Our K value is approximately uh, is 30 meters. Okay. So we got the H value and the K value from the vertex. Our A value, we're not entirely sure what it is, but we know it has to be a negative number because the parabola is uh, opening downward. Okay. So from the vertex, it's opening downward and therefore the a value must be uh, a negative number okay um, we can tell that from its original position at 20 or about at about 18 um, if we were to to move over by you know 20 meters to the left it's approximately one meter if we move from 20 meters over another 20 meters it's approximately you know, one meter there okay so we can try and estimate that this is going to be some kind of negative number um, we'll call it negative two. Oh, fudge. Okay. So what just happened? Okay. So we're going to try and estimate what our a value is, uh, and without doing a fancy calculation. We'll say it's negative two. Okay. So based on these rough estimates of our a, h, and k value, we can plug those into this quadratic formula. Okay. So based on our estimates, we're going to say that the formula is approximately y equals negative two times x. x minus 18. We're going to say that it's minus 18 because up here this is actually positive 18 and so in the formula it always has to be the opposite. So negative 18 all squared plus 30. Okay so that's our rough estimate for what the equation of the above formula is going to be. y is equal to negative 2 times x minus 18 all squared plus 30. 